Good morning, friends and neighbors. Well, it's been a while. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about real estate this morning. So if you're not interested, feel free to tune out. But if you're a realtor or if you're a real estate buyer or have ever been a real estate buyer or plan to be a buyer, this could be of interest to you. Now, since this is gonna go on Facebook and other social media probably, I don't know if my broker reference is prominent, conspicuous, and easily identifiable, so I'm just going to put it out right here. I'm affiliated with Keller Williams Realty Elite in Oklahoma City. So first, talking about buyers, uh, I have two things I want to talk about. One, uh, I think will be of great interest and not controversial at all. The second thing is a little bit controversial, especially if uh, you've been in business uh, prior to 2000 when our law of agency in Oklahoma was abrogated, or you've been influenced by uh, uh, practitioners out in the marketplace who uh, practice real estate prior to 2000. So I'm going to start with the more difficult one first, and that has to do with giving feedback on listings or showings. So um, there's a culture out there right now uh, for buyer's agents to provide feedback to listing agents for their showing and to let the the seller know what the buyer thought of the of the property this really harkens back to the the day before uh, we had the broker relationships act in place to the law of agency and sub agency where everybody worked for the seller well, y'all, that's no longer the case. We have no obligation to uh, serve the, the seller in that way. Listing agents do. Buyer's agents do not. And in fact, if they have a buyer broker service agreement with that buyer, that buyer is their client and they owe them some duties. One of those being confidentiality. Part of the confidentiality is motivation. Providing feedback could be uh, lessening the the buyer's position in their motivation so if you're going to give feedback to the seller via the listing agent you better have buyers written permission written authorization otherwise um, it could be thought of as um, breaking the law so be careful there the other area I want to talk about is um, also confidentiality, but not controversial. In this day and age where people want to feel more secure about their properties, the age of information and accessibility, many uh, property owners um, are uh, arming their houses with surveillance systems, uh, cameras, some with audio, many with audio. If you're looking at a house with your realtor, and you want to talk about anything that might be personal or uh, consider confidential uh, revealing your motivation do it outside do it with your agent in the car do not talk in the house don't walk through the house and and look at personal things no matter what but always be uh, cognizant of the fact that you could be uh, watched that uh, the the seller could be watching you so obviously you want to be on your best behavior anyway be respectful of the owner's property but certainly don't be saying disparaging things about the seller or the property don't talk about what you're willing to give or any motivational uh, factors there um, don't don't walk through the house and, and and do something that would be considered crass uh, just always know that you could possibly be watched and heard. All right, well, if you have any questions, I'd love to hear your comments or questions uh, down below, and I will see you next time.